Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you are watching this. This is Sam Prentice Makes Things Happen. I'm Sam Prentice back once again making it happen. And today I'm looking at the Eligu Neptune 2D, not to be confused with the 2, which I've already reviewed. So, and then I gave it away, crazy times. But I did regret giving that printer away. And as the opportunity came along, I wanted to try and buy another one. Now, this one is slightly different to the one before. And Eligu do, do this really weird thing where they put a product out, but they don't really tell anybody about it. It's really, really peculiar. And I wanted to review this printer. So I know you've already read the title. So while I'd be also very excited about this, I'm not in this reviewing printers lark for anything other than just trying to educate people. So please don't think that I'm trying to trash this on purpose but ultimately the thing just didn't work. So I love the Neptune 2. It actually is a really, really solid printer. Uh, Evolution, clone, whatever you want to call it off of the old original Ender 3. The black design, the internal tech, I really liked everything about it. And as I said previously about the Neptune 2, I really rated it. And it's a shame that I actually gave that printer away. And I know it's definitely still working because I still follow uh, the lady that I gave it to on Instagram and stuff. So I have regretted giving that printer away. So this is what happened. A subscriber reached out to me and said, hey, I'm looking for a dual color 3D printer. What do you think I should buy? And we knocked it around a little bit and I was saying there's an Ender IDEX now that somebody's come up with and 3D printed parts and all that kind of calamity. And he said, what do you think about the Neptune 2D? And I didn't know anything about this printer at the time because Eligu do this thing where they don't tell anybody about the printers that are coming out. They just release them and hope for the best. And if you rewind back just several months ago, the Neptune 2 might not have even been a 3D printer that you could have actually bought. It was sent out to a bunch of reviewers I purchased mine via Amazon and obviously, as like I said, gave it away. But I really, really liked it as a printer. And if I was going to set up a print farm or have a number of these printers printing various objects, I would definitely look at that as a serious contender. So I went to work and contacted Ellie Goo and they ignored me completely. So, and I'm kind of glad about that really because, you know, I want to make sure that I'm giving fair and unbiased opinions and sometimes when you're in this kind of YouTube zone where you're reviewing printers for people it's very easy for reviewers just to reach back out to that company and say there's a problem with this how do we resolve it but generally we put that into the video so this printer came in at a pretty good price of 200 pounds or 270 dollars the unboxing was actually pretty simple most exactly the same actually as the Neptune 2 with a couple of added extras and it's everything that you would tend to find on many budget printers so you need to partly assemble the printer and right away in the background of my mind, I had reservations about the hot end setup. This was mainly due to heat creep and blockages, which are prevalent on the Mark 8 and Mark 10 style hot ends. This was either due to the heat penetrating the heat brake or fibers blocking the nozzle. There are parts on these printers that need attention each time you start and end a 3D print. And you'll need to do this in order to avoid fails, wasted filaments, time, and anything else you see that you don't like happening. In the case of the Neptune 2D, we have almost a nonchalant approach to how the filaments are expelled via the two Bowden feeds. And right away, there was heat creep problems as the cool end was actually hot to touch. And yes, the fans were on, etc, etc. I've done this many times before. I really hope for far better than what I got, as I'm always trying to look at and put in a positive spin on items that sometimes fall short. However, and for the first time ever, I'm actually going to return this. And as a seasoned 3D printing user, I can see that this is going to have problems. And I guess my only positive is if you are considering an Eligu FDM printer, go for the standard Neptune 2 and just avoid the D. Now, it could be the case that I did receive like a Friday afternoon printer. And well, there's possibly some of you out there that might actually love the D. And if you do love the D, please leave a comment below and tell me all about your experience. And if you've had similar problems, I'd love to hear about those too. If you are looking for a dual color printer, that is not this one. I can suggest if you already have an Ender printer, check out the Ender IDEX which is just a printable kit and an upgrade path that I will be reviewing. I do have the printer already. I've had it for quite some time, but I've been using it continually because it's amazing. So I would suggest you keep your options open when you are looking for a dual color 3D printer. However, I just wanted to touch on this bit of the video when the blockage happened. Okay, you can see that 
but actually the print is beginning to fail already yeah we've got a gap there now which is a bit of a shame so that really does suck so my suspicions on this is going to be quite correct I think uh, the fact that you're going to get some serious heat creep with this particular nozzle because of the way that this is set up and again you've got two going into one and it is I mean this is hot this should be cold cold on top here so that's a real problem so we've got I mean that is hot to touch here so you've got heat creep coming up the fan is definitely on that really sucks I mean that is hot 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 so unfortunately the Neptune 2D does indeed suck uh, and I've returned it already it's gone back today and uh, I'm so gutted because I really wanted this to be a really good printer I am actually about to review a Tronc C which is actually a dual extruder as well it's actually three in one it's a laser it's a standard FDM and it's also a, a dual color one but this seems to be certainly more significant on the uh, on the cool break here um, and keeping this part cool and obviously this bit uh, this bit hot um, so yeah uh, I guess it's a no from me unfortunately and if you have been looking at this printer uh, I just hope that if you do end up buying it that you don't have the same kind of issues that I do but um, for me it's a, it's a big thumbs down so I'm going to leave you with me packing the printer up on a time lapse um, enjoy the rest of your day and we will see you next time bye for now so here it is the Neptune 2D these have been the test prints which have failed the nozzle and uh, chamber have actually blocked uh, and I'm gutted I'm absolutely gutted and it's very few and far between that I get a printer that fails straight off the bat with this uh, the SD card was missing <laughs>